It's the hunting trip incident the FBI now says was murder. It happened when a wife on a shooting safari vacation with her husband was believed to have accidentally shot herself. But her friend had suspicions, which she shared with investigators. Now the husband, a dentist, has been arrested and charged with murder. Here's Jim Murray. Hi, I'm Dr. Larry Rudolph. This prominent dentist is accused of taking his wife on an African safari so he could murder her and collect almost $5 million in life insurance. Dr. Larry Rudolph and his late wife Bianca were avid big game hunters who traveled the world. Here he is in Pakistan. Once again, Lady Luck smiled on us. We took this great send Ibex. Just fantastic. Bianca Rudolph's life came to a violent end when she and her husband flew to Kafue National Park in Zambia, the second largest wildlife reserve in the world. Bianca's goal was to bag a leopard. On the last day of their two-week trip, a gunshot was heard coming from their cabin. Bianca Rudolph was found dead with a gunshot wound to the chest. According to the criminal complaint, her dentist husband told Zambian police he believed his wife had accidentally shot herself with her 12-gauge shotgun while she was packing up the weapon. The dentist came under suspicion after a U.S. Embassy official said he believed that the distance between the muzzle of the shotgun and Bianca's chest was approximately 6.5 to 8 feet, according to the criminal complaint. If true, it would make an accidental shooting unlikely. The investigation was launched after a friend of Bianca's told the FBI she suspected foul play because Dr. Rudolph was allegedly having an affair with the manager of his dental office outside Pittsburgh. The dentist's alleged mistress reportedly gave him an ultimatum of one year to sell his dental offices and leave Bianca. Look at these insurance payouts that Dr. Rudolph collected. They totaled $4.8 million. Rudolph's attorney calls the charges outrageous, claiming the FBI's manufactured a case against his client. He also says Dr. Rudolph looks forward to proving his innocence at trial.